Hello and welcome back to Seconds Out. My name is Eamon Khan. We are here in North Greenwich with the one and only headlining this weekend, Zach Parker. Zach, how are you doing? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, obviously, last couple of days, all, all weight making. So, yeah, feel good and weight's on, weight's on point. So, yeah, it's all good. It is. How's your golf swing? Uh, not very good. For, I'm not, I'm not going to try. I don't want to embarrass myself. Never a, a golfer before you were a boxer? No, no, no. Maybe when, when I get a bit older and uh, can't start slowing down a bit, I might, I might take it up. I'm sure you'll be very good at golf um, if you're just as good at a boxer, I'm very, very much sure. Zach, let's uh, look to this weekend. John Ryder is the opponent. Uh, a lot of people saying this is the toughest test you'll, you'll face in the ring. Fair statement there? Yeah, yeah obviously, um, Defo is um, a tough test. Being there with a lot of good fighters, he has the likes of Kyle Smith, obviously. Uh, Billy Joe, um, Dan Jacobs, been there with a lot of good fighters, and uh, yeah, I, I believe it's, this is going to be the hardest test. But when when it gets harder, I step up, and I, I'm sure I'll step up again on Saturday. Is that the thing with you then? Do you think people haven't seen the best of you because of maybe the opponents you face? Look, you you, you face who's in front of you, but when the the bright lights shine brightest, you shine brightest as well. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, every every person what they've gone in front of me, I beat them, and uh, I, I plan to do it on Saturday nights. Um, just try. Obviously, it's a harder test, but after just uh, just uh, what he's come what he's come with, and uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll get victory on Saturday. John, someone who's as we mentioned, very experienced, been with the likes of Callum Smith, uh, Danny Jacobs, most recently. What do you make of uh, the Danny Jacobs fight? That was a close uh, fought fight. A lot of people think maybe Danny Jacobs might have nicked it, but John got the rub on that night. Yeah, yeah, I was a close about Obviously. Um, Dan Jacobs going past it a bit. Um, in in the same Dan Jacobs and what of like old when he was box golf king and uh, obviously Canelo. But um, yeah, it's, um, it was a, it was a close fight. I think I feel like Jacobs started off well and obviously John uh, come on come on to, towards the end. It's been made a note that you haven't faced a southpaw yet in the professional ranks. John being an accomplished southpaw, um, you obviously will have made note of that for your training camps and brought those people in but how has that southpaw sparring and training been in the lead up to this one yeah yeah i, I like i like um, boxing southpaws even though i didn't know i didn't even know i um obviously i didn't know i was going to box i didn't box southport before but um i used to love boxing southports in the amateurs and uh obviously i'm a switch it myself so i know what shots to shots to fire when when need to be taken so yeah um, I'm, full, I'm I'm sound with boxing Southport and uh, I was I was sparring Southport uh, since the start of the year because obviously I was meant to be boxing Andre so yeah I've, I've been been around Southport all year. Like, is this a type of fight where you have game plans and multiple game plans coming to this one or is this a type of fight where you just kind of do your own thing in the ring? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's adjust when you're in there. Um, every fight's different. You can't go into a fight thinking it's going to be one way. Because it, it could be totally opposite, so yeah, you just got to adjust when you're in there and uh, box. If I box to my best ability, uh, I, I'm sure I get get the victory. Now, a lot of stakes on the line in this fight. W interim title there, which means potentially down the line you'd be facing Canelo. Does that put ramp up the pressure even further uh, with the stakes that could uh, be in the offing should you win the fight the weekend? Yeah, obviously it's a um, big thing if you obviously even not just fighting for. A world title, Canelo as well. It's just a little bit added pressure, but uh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm just looking towards John, John Ryder first. He's the, he's the man in front of me, and uh, I'm not looking ahead at any anything else except for Saturday night. Um, Saturday night, I need to get out of the way, and then then we'll look ahead after. Frank's put a lot of faith in you. You're one of the leading lights of Queensbury. Is it good to uh, and even further motivate that Frank has your back in that sense and has been really pushing you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing that he's get, getting behind me so much and yeah, I, I just need to keep going out there, getting the victories and uh, get the win on Saturday night and, uh, and it adds even more and we can go for a world title next. So I can't remember when I last spoke to you, it was in the lead up to actually you fighting Demetrius Andre. What is the situation with Demetrius to your knowledge and is that a fight maybe in the future for you? I ain't got a clue to prefer. It's um, gone off face earth. I, I, he said he was coming up to super midweight, and then he got ordered again, and obviously it, it got cancelled. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with it uh, with him at the minute. Um, I don't. I don't really see the point in fighting now because um, WBO have, like sacked him off. So yeah, uh, I, I probably he's messing me around too many times. I reckon so probably not. Would you, would you rather, if I gave you these two options, because these two options may be potentially possible, Canelo might vacate or you fight Canelo, and that, that means you get, uh, if you beat uh, Ryder at the weekend, you get elevated to 
for the for champion, or would you rather face Canelo for the titles? What's, what, what's your feeling as a fighter? I'd rather face Canelo. I want to I be, if you, got, if you want to be a champion, you've got to be a champion. He's, he's the man at the minute. Um, he's got all the belts. And uh, obviously, they're the sort of fights what you're in boxing for to go against the top, the best, the best of the best. You know what I mean? So yeah, I would definitely want to face Canelo if, uh, rather than just collect a belt. Exactly. Get a couple of thoughts before I let you go. Uh, first of all, being uh, Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisori, your thoughts on that fight? Yeah, I see De um, Derek getting schooled again uh, like he did before. Tyson's just too good for all the other weights out there. I reckon at the minute. Um, so yeah, I, I reckon I reckon Tyson Fury win easy, comfortably. Speaking of Canelo, we saw him uh, win the trilogy against Gennady Golovkin. Uh, he wants to meet with Bivol next. Do you think that's a fight he can win? Yeah, yeah it's obviously um, it weren't that close last time, but I'm sure he could if if he put it, if he changed his game plan a bit. I think he's quite small for the weight though. That's the, that's the only point. Zach, uh, you got a lot of fans coming uh, this this weekend. Yeah, I got a couple hundred coming down. So yeah, um, should have quite should have like uh, a lot of Derby crowd there as well. Is it weird with John in terms of maybe amping yourself up for him because he's quite a passive character. You're a bit of a passive character as well, but is that a challenge in itself to see if uh, someone who's a bit passive in you know when you when you see him? No, it's just just uh, we just want to get in there and fight. Um, one thing's for sure, we're both coming to win, so yeah, um, it should be make up for a great fight. Don't, not everything needs to be bad blood, um, so yeah, it should. It, we're both going to come, come and bring it, and uh, hopefully, best man win. Exactly. Leave the final word for you. What happens this Saturday night? Just sat park win, no matter what. Exactly. Pleasure speaking to you. Wishing you all the best.